Well, I have to say that uh, knowing him, he's one of the finest young men I've ever met. And he's been in my office. We've chatted about the Ryan plan. And uh, I think Mitt knew that that was going to be a big issue, so why not have the person who can explain it better than anybody else? And uh, nobody can say that Paul Ryan isn't the highest quality person you can meet. He's a very fine young man, very bright, has a world of experience, 14 years in the, uh, in the House of Representatives, and virtually everybody respects him, even those the Democrats would say they disagree with him, but they respect him. And that, that alone says a lot about the man. He's a good person. Are we going to save this country or not? And uh, it's all economic, and there's nobody who has more credentials than Mitt Romney. We in Utah understand that more than others, because uh, at the, the Salt Lake Olympics back in 2002, we were in trouble. We were $400 million in debt. There were allegations of fraud, mismanagement, even criminal allegations that weren't accurate, but they were there. And we brought Mitt in almost overnight. He brought the right financial people in. There wasn't anything he wouldn't do, including parking cars if he had to. I've been surprised that my friend uh, Barack Obama and the people on his side, some of the dirty campaign tactics that they're using, uh, I've been a little bit surprised and disappointed that uh, that they were stupid at the level they have, accusing him of being a felon, uh, of uh, murdering this one man's wife, I mean, that type of stuff. I mean, that, that doesn't belong in presidential politics or anywhere else for that matter. So uh, I'm a little disappointed in them.